Well, first of all, you know, f- huge fans of cinema in general will be happy to know that this is a Rick Sloan film. People the who director love Hobgoblins, Hobgoblin. Blood Theater, The Visitants, I think, is a movie by him. <laughs> the what? I think the he made Visitants? a movie called The Visitants. Uh, I think it's like a... He's just... <laughs> just call him Merriam-Webster? He's just making up words? Yeah, it's Visitant. I looked it up. It's a movie... The cover of it... I haven't seen it, but the cover of it has a... Like a jukebox flying out of the sky. <laughs> okay. It looks kind of awesome. Anyway. I, I can't even guess what the movie would be about with that title. I don't either. Well, cover. look, I'll tell you what. I saw Blood Theater, and I can't guess what that movie's about. Okay. So, <laughs> Rick Sloan is <laughs> not the most coherent director in the world. <laughs> Uh, he's the poor man's david dakota i've always thought of yeah but then but rick sloan doesn't have the the catalog like david dakota has like, <laughs> he's made four thousand movies he's made like four thousand movies and if you watch just like a random one in the middle it's gonna be just like padded out like it's just <laughs> oh yeah it, it's no, quote, unquote, dakota, a movie <laughs> have you ever seen dakota like a, gave up at a certain i agree point. I mean, have you ever seen a thirteen thirteen? Or heard of those? I've never seen any of the 1313s. I know what they are. I know they're all shot in his house. Yes. I watched with, one. with his stupid car couch or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I, mini Cooper couch. <laughs> that's cool, though. But Yeah, I, but it's in this every movie now. No, I know. I watched the first one. No, I don't know if it was the first one. I watched one of them, though. And the first... It, it starts with a guy just sleeping. <laughs> Why are like, they even called 1313? I don't know. I have no Is idea. Is it a Munsters thing? It starts with this guy having a nightmare. Like, you see him sleeping, and he's, like, having a bad nightmare. And then you see his nightmare, and it's just him walking around David Dakota's house in his underwear. <laughs> and I was, this, Yeah, I was going to say, there's no shirt. I guarantee that. No. He's in, just in his tidy whities And he walks into, like, every single room really slowly. And it just becomes so funny to watch it because it goes on way longer than you think it's going to go. It goes on for 20 minutes straight before anything happens. (laughs) Not a single word of dialogue. It sounds like an Antonioni film. It sounds like uh, Blow Up. (laughs) It's exactly like it's Dakota's Blow Up. Anyway, so this is Rick Sloan. But I look, I like Hobgoblins. I don't. I cannot. I love Hobgoblins. I'm a big fan. Hobgo- I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I know you're big into rubber puppet monsters. Little yes. rubber puppet I monsters. I love Ghoulies. I you're favorite. a Ghoulies guy. It's the best. I have a Ghoulies 2 poster hanging over me right now. It's the biggest one okay. I can buy. <laughs> I have a Bob Dylan poster, and of course he did the score for Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College. <laughs> yeah, Bob Dylan famously did the score for Ghoulies 3. <laughs> You know, he didn't do a lot of movie scores. It was Pat Garrett and Bill the Kid and Ghoulies, and Ghoulies 3. These Ghoulies, they're pulling some pranks. <laughs> they got Kane Hutter falling in a mop. Oh my god, I forgot about that. That's a great cameo. I don't uh, even really know if it's a is. cameo because I don't know how famous he was at that point. I mean, he had been Jason at that point. It was, he was, at the very least, an extra. <laughs> a welcomed extra. <laughs> a featured extra. <laughs> That's but also yeah, Matthew no, I, Lillard's first movie. Matthew Lillard, everyone's favorite Twin Peaks: The Return actor. I loved him in that. He, I did too. I'm, I'm not. I'm barely half joking when I say that he is. I liked everyone in, in The Return. I, I just like Lillard in general. No, what, where was I going with it? Oh no, I was just saying. I'm sorry. You're wrong. Hobgoblin sucks. I'm not no, a big I'm not rubber wrong. puppet monster movie <laughs> fan. But I think even compared to <laughs> the big three, among the big four, well, yeah, the Hobgoblins big four. is the worst. Um, I'm saying there should be a big three. I can't say that you're wrong, so I won't. <laughs> no, no, you really can't. I think. <laughs> well, I was never crazy about the Critters movies, but recently I rewatched them and I liked them a lot more. So I can't really make the. <laughs> I can't make I've the s- case. I've seen. I've seen the first two Critters movies, and they're real movies. <laughs> they are. You but know, that Hot Goblins is that not that a real movie. That doesn't factor into whether I'm going to think it's better. No, or not. I understand that. I understand. <laughs> I'm just saying they're they're approaching. The, I don't think they're as good as Gremlins, but they're kind of approaching that. Like, okay, this is a real Hollywood motion picture. Billy Zane's in it. Leo's in Critters Ooh. Four, which is probably more in the Ghoulies yeah. Three realm in terms of quality. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like you know, obviously Ghoulies is my favorite. I, I would prefer it even to Gremlins, but um. In this, yeah, so we got Rick Sloan here from Hobgoblins. Hobgoblins, as you said, is one of the best movies ever made. You're right, I said that. We're going to get into Vice Guy. So that's why I wanted to watch these, not because I thought they were going to be good or anything, but just because I saw that he made <laughs> like course. six of them. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I, I do think the Vice Academy films, forgotten though they are, yeah. and again, three of them on Blu-ray somehow. I mean, this is the age where Manos, The Hands of Fate is on Blu-ray, so, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dr. Butcher MD. <laughs> like anything, anything can be on Blu-ray. Not everything is, but anything can be. Yeah, very true. But it, what I was saying is, like, this is, a, I don't want to say important, but the Vice Academy movies are kind of an interesting or exciting, intriguing, perhaps, mm-hmm. chapter in the compendium, in you know, in the five-part volume on cult schlock movies, right? For, yeah. for a number of reasons. You've got a lot of key players. You've got Rick Sloan. You've got Linnea Quigley, who's like the queen of this kind of thing. Uh-huh. You've got your, you know, this is an important thing, but the actor or actress with a history or perhaps a an ongoing career in adult films you say ginger lynn ginger lynn or i mean the tracy lords even though there's a bit more of a criminal element to that well, one yeah and i guess technically this means rocky fits in there in the rambo movies so i don't know <laughs> that's true 